What's up everybody, Anthony with Granddaddy Herbs back again with another video. Yes, today I've got my Jesus hat on. Look, we've got some bling bling, some Jesus with some bling bling. Oh yeah, because we need all the luck we can get today. So we are gonna cut, believe it or not, the very first clutch of the season. Uh, had a very, very late start to the season because of food issues. I'm not gonna go over that again. I've gone over that too many times in, in previous videos, but the season has officially started. Um, it's gonna be a small season, just six clutches that I managed to squeeze out at the very end of the season. But uh, I've got a really exciting clutch. This one is gonna be a black pastel, yellow belly, crystal, which is a special Mojave, which is a Lelic, 100% um, hep for hypo. And then I bred him to a super pastel blitz. So at the very least, I'm gonna get two gene animals because again, the crystal's a Lelic, meaning every baby's gonna either have special or Mojave. And then the super pastel being a super, every baby's gonna be pastel. And then we can get a bunch of stuff in between that. So uh, without further ado guys, let's get right into this video. I know you guys wanna see some babies, let's do it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you the parents. This is a super pastel blitz right here. Um, it may look a little like your typical pastel, but there's a lot going on. You can see the pattern's really blown out. You've got all this wackiness going on here. The tail pattern especially has a lot going on. You can kind of see this little bicep right here as uh, Muscle Serpents University describes the hurricane. Um, the blitz gene, the trick gene, and the hurricane gene, everyone thinks are the same gene. And I'm on board with that as well. They do all the same stuff. Um, but there she is. Their bellies are very similar to yellow bellies. They get really, really wacky. But just beautiful girl. What you'll see a lot in the Blitz is again, the alien heads will kind of form a U or do kind of like a double bicep. Um, this having super pastel, um, the super pastel dominates it a little bit, but you can see a little bit of those heart alien heads and whatnot. That's very typical of of the blitz um, and then I'm gonna show you I'll show you the dad right now this is the male of the clutch let me turn down the brightness here there we go that'll I think that'll give you guys a good look at him yeah let me turn it down a little bit more there we go that way you're able to see a little bit of his dorsal pattern there we go this is an extremely bright snake. So it's hard to really capture his colors, but you can see the dorsal striping where it's broken up in a few spots. He's a black pastel, yellow belly, crystal, 100% het for hypo. Gorgeous male. But yeah, let's get into the egg cutting. All right, guys, super excited. First clutch of the season, uh, very, very late season. But as you can see, it is the Super Pastel Blitz female. She was bred to the Black Pastel Yellow Belly Crystal Het Hypo. She's not Het Hypo, but the Het Hypo was a bonus. Hoping for some Blitz special females that I can hold back and potentially prove out the Hypo gene, but I'm not really worried about it. I'm just mainly after the special Blitz combo. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're like a day early. Uh, eggs are looking uh, nice and sunk in, so we'll go ahead and get these cut open. <clears throat> We're gonna start with egg number one. This is Euphoric Reptiles egg right here. <clears throat> Do a little pinch. Get them cut open here. So egg number one. So if you guys watched the previous video, I told you guys to pick an egg and uh, we'll see what you guys hatch out as. So everything should be minimum pastel and minimum either Mojave or special because they're both super animals. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, that thing looks nice. Um, see if I can show you guys that there. Nice and blushed out. Um, I'm thinking like a Pastavi 
probably a pastavi. Really nice and blushed out though. But looks good. Okay. And those blood vessels are pretty small too, so these things would have probably started pipping any day now. Um, so this is um, Delanor Osmer, one of my Patreon subscribers. So is Euphoric Reptiles, Ray over at Euphoric Reptiles. So that was that egg. So egg number two. Come on, special blitz. I don't have a whole lot of experience uh, or no experience actually hatching out any blitz combos so I may not know if I hit it right away unless we see just some completely whacked out pattern. Ooh, that's very very nice. Okay, not too sure what that is. That looks like maybe it's a special blitz combo. Uh, very blushed out and I'll get the macro lens up on here. Very very blushed out. Uh, blushed out could have yellow belly could be Mojave who knows it could be a pewter combo of some sort too because it does have black pastel in the in the pairing that's pretty neat maybe that's a black pewter Mojave okay with the possibility of yellow belly as well so won't know a lot of these until they until they come out of the egg next one we got egg number three Todd over at TNT balls let's get this cut open here This is looks like it could be another wacky pastavi combo. Uh, probably has blitz in there. I'm seeing a lot going on on that neck pattern. That's pretty cool. Thinking that one might have blitz in it. Blitz works if you don't know. It works very similar to like the trick gene and the hurricane gene. Um, makes everything really wacky. Some people think they're all the same gene. Uh, I'm thinking the same thing too, but. I am seeing a lot busier stuff on the hurricane stuff over, you know, trick and blitz just from observation. So I don't know necessarily if hurricane is the exact same thing. We got egg number four. We've got Mac. This one's got a little bit of a window. It's pretty neat. But let's see what we got here. Be cool if I get a hypo combo, but very, very unlikely that that'll happen. So again, everything's going to either be special or Mojave. Uh, that looks like a... So that'll probably be a special pewter because I don't think I see Mojave in that. And everything has to be pastel. Um, so that might be a black pastel special pastel. Uh, could have blitz in it too. We won't know until they come out. Okay, so last egg. So egg number five, uh, egg number four was Mac, um, Palgy Serpents, egg number five, okay, last egg, this was a first time mom, I was going to attempt to breed her last season because she was up to size but she was still kind of young so I, I skipped out on the year and gave her it off, ooh. That looks like it might be a Pastavi, Pastavi Blitz or something like that. Got nice coloration, but I won't know a whole lot of what these things are until they come out. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated. There's a lot of wacky pattern right there on the spine. So that could be a Pastavi Blitz. You can see that spine, the spine pattern right here. It's all broken up, but uh, yeah guys, um, pretty happy with what I can see. Looks like there's some good variation in there, so we'll just have to wait and see when they come out what, what exactly we got. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, I was going to let you guys get a first look at these babies. They've all come out of the egg except for this one right here. Um, See if I can get the camera to focus. I do gotta turn down this brightness a little bit. 
but um, what we have here is this is a pastel special. Beautiful looking animal already. Um, there's a chance it's got yellow belly, but I just don't see it yet, or I don't see it in this animal. I apologize for the background noise. My neighbor is using some sort of a vacuum or blower. But uh, yeah, pastel special. Um, okay. There's only a 5'8 clutch, as you can see. We've got this next animal. Looks super cool. This, this is what I think is a pewter special. I'm almost positive on that. Look at that. Look at those dots on the eyes, on the eye stripe. Let me zoom in. There we go. Look at the dots there. But, yeah, this, and again, everything has to either be Mojave or special. So, I don't see Mojave in this animal. I'm leaning more towards it being a special pewter. And it's 50% HET4 hypo. So, hoping that this turns out to be female, so I can keep it back. If it's male, I don't think I'll be keeping it back. Um, just because I've already got the father, which is a black pastel special Mojave yellow belly. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't need this guy if it turns out that it is a male. I don't sex anything until after the first shed. So let me zoom in a little bit here for you guys. Keep an eye on this animal. And then we got two of these, which I think are just absolutely beautiful. But this is what I believe to be, almost 100% on this, a uh, Pastel Special Blitz. Man, those rats are really uh, duking it out. <laughs> Sorry guys, we got, we got cut out there. My memory card was full, didn't even check it. But uh, let me turn up the brightness a little bit for this one. But yeah, this is a pastel special blitz. Look at this side pattern. Okay, I guess I am gonna have to turn down the brightness. Okay, look at this side pattern. Look how cool that is, man. Look at all the busyness here. Just completely wacky. And it's 50% hit for hypo. Hoping this is female as well. Um, if it's a male, I may keep it, uh, not 100% sure. Uh, Blitz is definitely going up in value and so special. So I may, I may test the market with it if it turns out that it is a male. But if it's a female, it's not going anywhere. So yeah, we've got the pewter special here, the special Blitz pastel there. And this one still has a little bit of a, it's umbilicus connected but we've actually got two of them and this one's even busier this one has all the the tell tail signs of it being blitz you can see all the heart shaped or or double bicep patterns there just really busy its neck pattern is just completely whacked out um, again really busy belly I can't wait to see this thing shed it's gonna be just absolutely nuts but yeah, you can see it side by side with this one. Just really, really crazy looking animals. This one has just got a lot more going on in the dorsal pattern. These guys are super shiny and reflective because they still have that baby, baby coat on. They haven't shed yet. They literally just came out of the egg within the last day. But look how wacky this one is. This one's got a lot going on too, but this one's just, I mean, this one's just A plus example of the blitz gene working together with the special gene so there we go there pewter special special blitz pastel special blitz pastel and then we've got this freak of nature right here which I'm not a hundred percent sure on what it is but I think I know what it is I'm pretty confident I know what it is but I believe that this is a um, pastel black magic blitz or a pewter Mojave blitz however you want to word it but look at all that look at all those question marks blowing through just pattern is just completely blown out it's got some really nice striping on the dorsal but I think this one has the Mojave 
which I'm really happy with. And if you look here, you can see the difference. Let me get this one to chill out. Um, you can see the difference here. I believe this one's got Mojave. This one, I believe, doesn't have Mojave. This one has, I believe, Special. And then this one here, I believe, is the Mojave Blitz Black Pastel Pastel. So, just a lot going on with this animal here. And it's 50% hit for hypo, so hoping that this is a female. If it's a male, I may keep this one. Not 100% sure. Um, I really want to hold back some Blitz stuff. I, I'm almost confident that this has Blitz. Can't guarantee it though because the Black Magic, um, Black Magics have really blown out side patterns as well. So we shall see. Give it a shed or two and kind of see how the colors come in. And uh, yeah, I'll update you guys once these things shed out. So stay tuned, guys. So how about them odds, guys? Uh, couldn't be happier with this clutch. A lot of funky stuff. A lot of head scratchers. A lot of stuff that I really just have to sit down and see what exactly it is. I think for the most part, I think I know what everything is, um, as I just explained when I was showing the babies. Um, but let me know what you guys think. If you guys think I'm wrong, if you think there might be something else, uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment let me know. Um, just because I've been doing this for so long doesn't mean new stuff that I pair that I'm an expert at the new stuff. There, it's always a learning game in this hobby. So. Um, if you if you think you know it all, uh, shame on you. <laughs> um, but if you guys can, check the links in the description. Um, I've got both my Instagram pages on there. My regular one where I show all the snakes off. I've got my meme page that I started, Dank Snake Memes. Um, I've got my Patreon and my Facebook. So if you guys want to see a little bit more of what i got going on, go check those out. And I'll uh, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.